They are chefs. They are comedians from the Ultimate Camp Cooking Show. And today you're going to uh, bring inside, thank goodness, because it's so cold oh, outside. It's, it's a little outside. cold here, we found out. Some of the recipes from, uh, from the show and uh, for cooking outside. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of great recipes that are also good at home, but in the mountains we show you how to do it right, and it's easy, and it's simple, and it's really good. Like Let's kings. pretend we're in That's the mountains. That's right. Okay, <laughs> All right, so, so what are we doing first? This first recipe is called Camp Calzone. A lot of people don't think Ooh, they make yum. calzones in the woods, but we're going to show you how to make your own sauce and a nice calzone while you're camping. And the easy way is to start with just a regular pop fresh of a piece of dough right out of the can. Unless you want to get fancy, make your own dough, bring it up in the mountains. It doesn't really matter. Easy is what we want exactly, at this very point, especially easy. if we're Now, we camping. did our own sauce. We're going to make our own pizza sauce, but you can do one out of a jar or a can. But this is just basically tomato puree mm -hmm. with about uh, one tablespoon of tomato paste. And we're going to add some garlic in here. Some fresh chopped garlic. And we're going to take some oregano and some Italian seasoning. A little basil. Just like that. And Italian then, seasoning. And next thing you know, you already have your own sauce. There you go. Now, sauce is done. You can obviously buy your you own sauce. You guys work so slowly. I don't know. We're you know having to speed you up have, here, huh? We have a lot to talk about. Dana. Oh, absolutely. So what we're going to do is we, we have our dough already laid out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our sauce and pour it right here in the center, just like that. Smells like a good Italian restaurant already. Okay. So far, so tomato good. paste. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, some pepperoni. All righty. Okay. Now here, here's the best part, though. When you're making this calzone, you can make it with whatever flavor you want. Whatever your favorite pizza is, go ahead and make it up. But we're going to do white some, onions, uh, white onions, some zucchini. I like some. Mushrooms green peppers. In mine, please. You want some mushrooms? mushrooms. All right, very good. Hold the peppers. Hold oh, the you're peppers. Thank you. oh, oh, they're not too hot. Right. They're not too hot. Right. Then we got some mozzarella cheese, and then of course we're going to put some Italian parmesan, parmesan cheese, cheese shredded right there. around there. And now I think we're ready to roll the sauce. I'm going to roll this bit. baby up. Yeah, let's roll it that way, right? I'm just going to wrap it it's up. It's kind of nice sloppy, but you know what? It's going to come out looking beautiful because you know when you're cooking. If the dough's the a little colder looks, when you're doing it, it's probably better. We should have been outside, maybe. There we go. The, come on, look at that. Just Perfect. Like that. And now what, what happens do is, yeah, is you put it in your Dutch oven, like a pie tin, a like pie this. Tin. About uh, you put about 15 coals on top, about eight on the bottom. And this is what you come out with. And it's good if you product. use these disposable tins, so then exactly, you don't have to clean, clean your Dutch cleanup. oven. And then when you're up in the mountains, when you're camping, what you want to do is have the minimal cleanup as possible. Right. So what you do is when you're doing your Dutch oven, the key to doing a Dutch oven is make sure that you double your coals from the top to the or from the bottom to the top. So for a recipe like this, we'll run eight coals around the edge of the Dutch oven, never directly underneath, because oh. anything directly underneath will scorch it. And then when you put your lid back on top. Bottle. Doesn't it look like a Flintstone? He's being very helpful. Come I on, know, leave him alone. He looks like Shrek. I'm just saying. I'm just you and I can do this. And you guys are brothers? Wait, Absolutely Faberman not. and Mac? No, I don't know. Twins. Kidding. We're twins, actually. <laughs> I'm the better looking one. Usually um, the brother's bigger. I've got Then when you boys. put your coals on top, you want to make sure you edge the, the lid and never put anything in the center because what happens is it creates the convection and that's your convection oven outside. Oh, now, anytime okay. you see a Dutch oven recipe mm -hmm. in one of our cookbooks or our DVDs, if you don't have a Dutch oven, you can simply bake it in an oven at the regular temperature of 350, 400. And this, oh, is, this is the real Dutch oven, not the other one that people talk about. Do you know what I'm talking about? Sheets over the head. Okay, okay. Don't anyway. Um, so, so this is what else? We made the calzones. This one with peppers? No. Okay, come on okay, here. So we have we're some moving more on. Recipe. We're moving on. Now, we also have this easy and uh, inexpensive, fun recipe called Dad's Potatoes. It's a tinfoil wrap recipe, and the reason why we do tinfoil wrap recipes is because nobody likes to clean up. Right. So you cook it, you serve it, and throw it away. Now, this has tater tots, four fresh vegetables, seasoning salt, and a little bit of butter that you put right on the tinfoil itself. And then when you cook it on a high heat, 15 Ooh, minutes on both sides, it's a nice side dish. Now, when you look at it, the vegetables are all cooked through. The potatoes are already cooked, you know, because they're tater tots. But then you have all the seasoning on top of it. Easy, delicious, fun recipe you can make in the woods. No cleanup. Easy recipes. You guys have your cookbook, Ultimate Camp Cooking. You've got the DVDs, the show. And you guys are going to be at the Chicago Boat RV and Outdoor Show as well, which is at McCormick Place Friday through Sunday. So Sunday, people may be watching the Bears game. But beyond that, there's a couple days that, right. that uh, folks can go there. Raining deals on RVs, yeah. something for kids all the way up to seniors. Great deals. You're going to have a good time. If you ever wanted to buy an RV, this is the time to buy it at an RV show in the middle of winter, just like this, because right. the prices are going to be very low. Oh, excellent. So Some other good tips, guys. Great Thanks show. so much for Great being show. here. <laughs> and for more information on the recipes from today, you